In Japan, new mothers aren't rushed out of the hospital. Instead, they typically stay for about five to seven days after giving birth. This is a stark contrast to many other cultures where mothers are often discharged within a day or two. But why do Japanese hospitals advocate for these extended stays? The benefits are manifold. Firstly, it allows for close monitoring by healthcare professionals. This extended period in the hospital ensures that both the mother and the baby are in the best possible health before they head home. It's not just about physical health either. Mental well-being is also given ample attention. With the rise of postpartum depression worldwide, this additional time provides a safety net for new mothers who might be struggling emotionally. The extended hospital stay also affords new mothers thorough recovery time. Giving birth is no small feat. It's a physical marathon that leaves the body in a state of recovery. This extra time in the hospital allows the body to heal under the watchful eyes of medical professionals, reducing the risk of complications down the line. But it's not just about rest. During this time, new mothers have the golden opportunity to learn from experienced nurses about baby care. From deciphering different cries to mastering the art of swaddling, these valuable lessons set the foundation for confident parenting. And let's not forget about the value of peace of mind. Knowing that help is just a call away can alleviate much of the anxiety that comes with being a new parent. This security can make the transition into motherhood a little less daunting. In essence, these extended stays are not just about recovering from childbirth, they're about preparing for life after the hospital. They're about equipping new mothers with the knowledge and confidence they need to care for their babies. With this extended stay, Japan prioritizes the health and well being of both the mother and the new baby. In the next scene, we'll delve into how Japan seamlessly blends traditional practices with modern care to further support new mothers. Stay tuned. Japan has a unique approach to postpartum care, seamlessly blending traditional customs with modern medical practices. One such tradition is ansei, which translates to peace and quiet. This practice allows new mothers a period of rest and recuperation creating a tranquil environment conducive to recovery and bonding with their newborn. Then we have Sadagayari, a practice where new mothers return to their parents' home for support and care. In the modern context, these customs are supplemented by state-of-the-art medical care. Japan's healthcare system ensures that every new mother has access to top-notch medical services, from regular health checkups to lactation consultancy. The beauty of this approach lies in its balance, respect for cultural traditions alongside the utilization of modern medical advancements. It's not about replacing the old with the new, but rather enhancing traditional practices with the benefits of modern healthcare. By combining the old with the new, Japan creates a comprehensive postpartum care experience. Japanese healthcare doesn't stop at the hospital door. The postpartum care extends to a wide range of medical services. Imagine this, not only are you welcomed into motherhood with open arms, but you're also guided along every step of the way. Picture regular health checkups for both you and your newborn, ensuring you're both on track and thriving. With an adept team of healthcare professionals, you're never left in the dark. But that's not all. Imagine having a personal breastfeeding coach. Yes, you heard it right. In Japan, new mothers receive dedicated breastfeeding support to make the journey smoother and less daunting. Now, let's talk about the food. Nutrition plays a crucial role in recovery, and Japan has nailed it. New mothers are provided with nutritional guidance to help them regain strength 
and promote optimal health for both mum and baby. This ongoing support ensures that both mother and baby are thriving. In Japan, the care continues even after leaving the hospital. Once the new mother is home, the support doesn't stop. Midwives and healthcare workers play a crucial role, making house calls to ensure that both mother and baby are doing well. These visits aren't just about checking on physical health. They also provide an opportunity for new moms to ask questions, voice concerns, and receive guidance on everything from breastfeeding to baby care. This personalized care is an indispensable part of Japan's postpartum support system. It bridges the gap between the hospital and home, ensuring a smooth transition for the new mother. The healthcare workers, with their wealth of knowledge and experience, offer reassurance and practical help during what can be an overwhelming time. Imagine having a professional right there in your living room, offering advice and reassurance. That's the reality for new mothers in Japan. This home-based support helps new mothers transition smoothly into their new roles. Food is medicine in Japan, especially for new mothers. This saying rings true in the realm of postpartum care, where a specialized diet takes center stage. In Japan, the postpartum period is often called sitting the month, a time when new mothers are encouraged to rest and rejuvenate. And a crucial part of this rejuvenation comes from the food they consume. The Japanese postpartum diet is a meticulously designed mix of nutrient-rich foods aimed at helping new mothers regain their strength and promote optimal health. Let's delve into the core components of this diet. First and foremost, it's about balance. The Japanese postpartum diet includes a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and healthy fats, all aimed at replenishing the nutrients lost during childbirth. Protein-rich foods such as fish and tofu are staples, providing essential amino acids for tissue repair and growth. Carbohydrates come in the form of rice and other grains, providing energy to meet the physical demands of motherhood. And let's not forget the healthy fats, found in foods like avocados and oily fish, which support hormone balance and brain health in both mom and baby. But it's not just about the macros. The Japanese postpartum diet also places a heavy emphasis on micronutrients. Foods are rich in iron, calcium, and vitamins, all vital for a new mother's recovery. Another key aspect is the focus on digestion. Many foods are served in a form that's easy to digest, such as soups and stews. This helps the body absorb nutrients more efficiently and reduces strain on the digestive system. And lastly, hydration. Traditional Japanese teas often served warm are a common feature of the postpartum diet. These teas not only aid in hydration, but also provide a calming, soothing effect, a welcome respite for new mothers. The Japanese postpartum diet is more than just food. It's a form of care, a way of nurturing new mothers as they navigate the journey of motherhood. It's a testament to the belief that nourishing the mother is as important as caring for the newborn. With its focus on nutrition, Japan ensures new mothers are well nourished to care for their babies. And that, dear listeners, is the magic of the Japanese postpartum diet. Parenting doesn't come with a manual, but in Japan, it comes with a wealth of resources. As we dive into this facet of postpartum care, you'll quickly see that Japan is committed to nurturing not just newborns, but also their parents. Imagine a world where after having a baby, you're not left to figure things out on your own. In Japan, this is the reality. New parents are offered a plethora of parenting classes, workshops, and resources. From breastfeeding workshops that provide hands-on guidance and support to newborn care classes that cover everything from bathing a baby to understanding their sleep patterns. But it doesn't stop there. Parents also have access to resources on mental health, nutrition, and even classes 
on how to baby wear or use a stroller. Every concern, every question, every challenge that may arise in the early days of parenting is addressed. These resources empower new parents with knowledge and skills for their parenting journey. In Japan, postpartum care is not just about the mother and baby, but also involves the community and family. The Japanese believe in the proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. And this philosophy is woven into their postpartum care. Families often rally around new mothers, providing emotional support and practical assistance. Grandparents, aunts, uncles and cousins can be seen lending a hand in chores, cooking and even babysitting. Community involvement goes beyond the immediate family. Local groups and organizations often provide resources and support to new mothers. From arranging meal deliveries to organizing social events that connect new mothers in the neighborhood, these community initiatives play a crucial role in postpartum care. This collective approach to postpartum care doesn't just alleviate the burden on new mothers, it also fosters a sense of belonging and camaraderie, ensuring that no mother feels alone in her journey. This collective approach fosters a supportive environment for new mothers. So it's clear that Japan's postpartum care is a class apart. Through extended hospital stays, they ensure a thorough recovery for the mother. Their blend of traditional practices and modern medical care creates a unique support system. Add to this comprehensive medical services, home visits, specialized diets, and an array of educational resources. All of these, along with strong community and family involvement, contribute to Japan's reputation. Whether it's the extended hospital stays, comprehensive medical support, or community involvement, Japan's approach ensures that new mothers and their babies are off to a healthy and supported start.